Hey, hello there. Uh, today's liquidity challenge question is called Q reconstruction by height. Suppose we have a random list of people standing in a queue. So since it's queue, there's the notion of uh, front, and, front and back. Uh, each person is described by the pair of numbers H and K. H is the height of the person. K is the number of people in front of this guy who have a height greater than or equal to H. And we need to write an algorithm to reconstruct the queue. And uh, as an example, we have uh, six people, seven, zero, four, four, seven, one. So basically, uh, the, if we look at uh, a random person, six, one, that person has a height of six. And there is exactly one person towards the left that has the height uh, equal to or larger than six. The, the correct uh, position, this guy's here. So looking at the, the guys before him, him or her, uh, there's only one guy who has a height of 7, larger, greater than or equal to 6. So this guy is definitely in the correct order, uh, just looking at uh, him. Uh, if you look at another person, 4-4, four, four, uh, there has to be 4 person with height uh, equal to or larger than 4 before before this guy. Uh, everybody before him is uh, height 5-7-5-6, five, five, so it satisfies the order requirement, constraint or or requirement whatever so let's think about how we are gonna solve this uh, if we just manually do this in ourselves so obviously uh, something I do, uh, we would do is to just grab a person from the uh, you know set of people and try to place the, the, the guy into the right location so we're gonna have a empty kind of queue here uh, have six slots here so all we need to do is uh, uh, grab, grab a person at the time and to try to put the person into the right location so uh, so the order that we grab people is going to be very important uh, what, what kind of order should we do uh, if we just follow this random order it will not be uh, nice because uh, we don't know what kind of person we have already placed and we don't know what yet to come so it, it's going to be difficult for us to, to uh, reasoning about uh, the number of people should have uh, uh, you know should stand stand before this guy and uh, in order to determine the, the guy's correct location so obviously we want to do this in some sort of uh, a sorted order so let's say that if we sort people by the uh, increasing order of the height and that gives us a very nice property if you look at the person of height 5 uh, and we are currently looking at a position try to find the location to place that guy uh, we know everybody who have a height that's less than four or less than five you know one two three four have already been placed into the the correction corrected a slot so if we do uh, from left to, to right uh, maybe some four guys three guy uh, have already occupied the slot and the guy we are looking at has a height of 5 and uh, you require uh, you know, two people to have same height or higher to s before, before this guy in the final queue so what we do is to just uh, leave this guy from the beginning and try to look uh, for the right position towards right if we find an empty slot uh, that slot we cannot occupy yet because we have to reserve that uh, for someone who potentially have a height that's uh, equal to or higher than this guy but uh, since that we reserved the slot we know that we can de decrement this counter uh, that, that position has to be filled by someone who has the same or higher height so we then move forward we saw a guy with high 4 we don't care 3 we don't care uh, another empty slot we decrement this this becomes 0 uh, but we still have to move on because that location has to be occupied by someone uh, of height 5 or higher but definitely not this guy uh, so the first empty slot we find when we uh, are sure we can there there has two people who has the height uh, equal to or higher than this guy that's the first that's the location we should uh, uh, put this guy here so uh, just in summary what we do is to allocate a empty queue and uh, uh, and just uh, try to place people in their uh, uh, according to their uh, sorted height ordering. Uh, for every person, we start from the beginning of the queue, and uh, if it's empty slot or if it's a, a actual place that already placed the person of the same height, uh, that satisfies the constraint, the requirement about uh, the number of people before him. So we decrement that requirement. Once that requirement uh, counter hit zero, and we reach a new empty slot, 
that's the place we place this guy. Uh, so, so this leads to a, a you know nested for loop kind of a, a code. It's going to be square time. And uh, and and the sorting is in log n, so it's uh, uh, less than square. So the total the uh, the significant uh, runtime is in the uh, placing of people uh, rather than the sorting. But the sort gives us a, a nice property. So what we're gonna do is just gonna initialize a queue, which is just empty, uh, you know, in empty slots. Uh, we're gonna have this to be exactly the number of people, so uh, everybody has exactly one location to go to, and uh, we're just gonna sort the people. For their height and uh, requirement uh, of number of people of the same height or higher, uh, we we uh, keep track of the number of uh, people that's uh, greater than or equal to the this guy's height that's uh, in front of him. Uh, if there is a initially, this is zero, and we enumerate over all the locations. If this location is empty, or if there is a guy here, but his height is uh, equal to the guy we are looking at uh, we can decrease it or we can increase this meaning that uh, uh, we, uh, we we definitely see one that's greater than or equal to this guy's height and uh, if this number is equal to k and the location is uh, empty what we can do is to place the per, place this guy in into that slot. And if it actually placed the guy, we should uh, break uh, and just just skip to look at uh, the next person. So. Yeah, in the end, we should just uh, return this queue. Uh, it should be it. Uh, let's quickly check if we have problems. Uh, allocate uh, enough space for the people according to the same number of slots for the number of people. We sort the people based on their height. Uh, also, if there is high, we sort on K. And uh, we're just going to look at the one person at a time. Uh, we start from the left towards the right. Uh, we just keep track of uh, the number of uh, slot either reserved or occupied by the person of the same height or higher. Um, so if it's empty slot or if the person uh, in the slot has the same height, we increment this uh, or decrement. You know, if we set this to k, a decrement testing for zero, it should be the same thing. Uh, if we have enough people of the same height and uh, we're looking at uh, a empty slot, we just put the Guy into that slot. So yeah, this looks looks good. Nope. Uh, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, let's submit this. All right. So this uh, this is the square time algorithm, and you can definitely see this here. It's uh, it has a nested loop here. And the sorting is uh, analog in. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, this question in square time. And uh, uh, realizing using uh, processing people using sorted order, and uh, and just just based on this definition, pretty much. Um, Oh, you know, you know what? I think I think of an, I can I can think of another another way to solve this. Um, let me talk about this. So, notice that if we do this in the reserve order, uh, from the highest to the lowest, 
for 70 we just insert that to the zeros location uh, if the empty the, the real this is this is uh, to using a uh, fix the array but if we are thinking about in a linked list the kind of thing uh, we can insert at uh, each location and the runtime doesn't matter the runtime is still in login because for every insert it's in uh, I'm, I'm ahead of myself in the explanation uh, I can just uh, grab the, if we're processing from the highest high to the lowest uh, we see 70 uh, it's going to occupy 70 here uh, if we find 71 that's going to be inserted at the ones location uh, then we processing to the person of the second highest height 61 uh, the ones location uh, is occupied by 71 so we just insert that guy here and then we processing on the height of uh, uh, height of five uh, we got five zero we put this guy here and five five two zero one two so we insert the guy here uh, and four four so one zero one two three four this this should be the order, right? Is this the order? Yeah, it is. All right. So yeah, it appears that uh, if we do this uh, from from the highest to the lowest, uh, the code can be simple, but the runtime doesn't change. Hmm. So we're just gonna have a queue. This time is a linked list. Uh, for HK in uh, for people in sorted order. We're gonna sort by the uh, height in the reverse order. Uh, so that's that. Do we want to sort this based on that too? Oh yeah, if we're doing that from the highest to the lowest, uh, we want to process phi zero before phi two. If we do phi two before phi zero, the order gonna mess up. So we have to put this here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just to insert that into the right location. This object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Oh, sorry, it's index and volume. We insert at this location the value, which is the person. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's working too. Uh, but insert here, you know, it, it, it's sort of like a linked list. We have starting from zero and just uh, uh, jump uh, P1, uh, the the number of uh, steps, and uh, find the insertion location to insert uh, this uh, uh, this person. So uh, it it is still in square time, uh, but the code is simpler. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's this question today. <laughs>